Hey everybody, welcome to the stream. I'm so happy to have you here on Saturday. So today we are not doing Strange Town Saturday because I want to keep playing my custom neighborhood and today we're going to be moving all of our residents into the apartments. So I'm really excited and then we're going to have them mingle with each other. Um, I got a plan. I got a plan. I'm not going to explain it to you. I'm just going to show it to you. <laughs> Hello everybody. Hey, welcome, welcome. Welcome. Oh, let me ping. Let me ping the Discord too. Let me do that. Uh, there we go. Going live. Going live, everybody. Hello, hello, everybody. Oh, thank you so much for the five months of Prime sub, Strom Kastenman. I hope I'm saying that right. And let me uh, load up the game here. I got it loaded in time. And. We're also going to have to take a vote on the name of the new neighborhood because I really want to name it Nutley. <laughs> I really want to name it Nutley, but I think you guys like Pleasant Valley better. Hello, hello. Uh, thank you so much for the nine months at tier two to loan in. Thank you so much. Nine months. A whole baby could, a whole baby could have been formed in the time you've been subbed to me. Thank you so much, and uh, thank you so much, uh, Emma Bav ninety eight for the brand new Prime sub. Thank you for eight months at tier one. I don't eat plastic. Four month Prime sub, Ganlo Blunt. Six months at tier one, Lettykins. Thank you so much for the two hundred bits, Roboto O two, and thank you for the brand new Prime sub, Plastic Pixel people. I think I got everybody for the moment. I hope, I hope I didn't miss anybody there. <laughs> and two pairs of socks. Thank you for the four, four months at tier one. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get started here in just a moment. <laughs> the best place to buy Plum Bob necklace is probably on Etsy. Um, I bought a necklace from M MGTV, I think is the name. I bought a plum bob necklace from her. I'll get the name for you. I'll get the name for you. Um, I posted it on my Twitter. Hello, everybody. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. Thank you so much. Thank you for the uh, five months at tier one, Luke James. And I got a shout out from Andres to Cindy for being the strongest and showing her real self. You look beautiful. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. And I think I got everybody here. Did I miss somebody? Oh, thank you for the cheer, Luna. 0906. Well, you guys are just pouring the love out today. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you for the cheer, Yas, Mackenzie. Thank you for the six months at tier one speed, Mosey. And thank you for the brand new tier one sub, Alyssa. Alyssa Herman. I am very happy. I'm so happy. I'm so much happier. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, yes, I'm so much happier. I feel so happy and free and liberated. So thank you. Thank you so much for the Prime Sub Sheepy God. And I got a shout out from Carrie Kent to Cindy for making me feel less alone in many ways. Love you, girl. Thank you, Carrie. I love you too. And thank you for the cheer, Sammy. Thank you very much. If anybody has any questions about my hair in the chat, you can just put in the command hair. I made a whole command for my hair and uh, there is a link to the explanation about my hair if you if you don't know uh, and oh my gosh thank you so much for giving out five gift subs Evelyn thank you very much for giving out those gift subs to what does GV mean I like summer Alk 1987 Bayleaf 95 and Nico 0892 thank you so much Evelyn and thank you for the five months prime sub and Luna Temple. Thank you for the brand new tier one sub Mystic Sims 420. And thank you for the prime sub Love Me Kiss Me. Love Me Kiss and Hug Me. <laughs> and the four months of tier one Simmer Girl 83. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate that. We're going to get to the game in a second, I swear. <laughs> thank you so much for the five months at tier one Jess Dolph. Thank you guys. I have my coffee i got my trusty coffee with my yes go when warms you up when you feel your slow when wendy's we always serve it right away add a smile and have a nice day <laughs> oh thank you 
you so much, Bella. Thank you very much. And uh, let's see, who did I miss here? Who did I miss? Thank you for the shout out from Vigilanton. Shout out to Cindy for being a punk goddess. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for the four months at tier one bingle 7405. All right, now we're ready to get started, I think. And oh, I got one more shout out from Shannon, Georgia. Shout out to Cindy to giving more awareness to PCOS. Yes, thank you very much. I hope that I can make people more aware of the condition and make women who have the same problems as I do not feel so alone because I know it can be very lonely when you're going through that so I hope I can do that and uh, thank you for giving out two gift subs love me kiss me kiss and hug me thank you for giving out those two gift subs to uh, LSNV and misunderstand Roan Cruz I hope I'm saying that right <laughs> thank you so much for the cheer fiercerella thank you very much uh thank you for <laughs> thank you for the prime sub pedal brook thank you for the shout out from max shout out to the pleasant sims community and the stream viewers who are being so kind and loving yes i agree i feel like i have the greatest community in the whole in all of the internet the pleasant sims community is the best in my opinion you guys are so awesome thank you for all your support uh, shout out from Sailor Dream to your viewers for being so supportive. You look great, Cindy. Thank you very much, uh, Sailor Dreamer. I got a shout out from Zoe P 1991. Shout out to Cindy for just being your authentic self. You look lovely. Thank you very much, Zoe. Uh, thank you for the 100 bits, Sly Heart Fox. I got a beg for gift sub from Kevis 2002. Um, thank you for the... Brand new tier one sub, Falafels for Life. Thank you for the prime sub, BJD1992. Shout out from du Dud's GIF to this amazing girl. You sharing your story just made me love you even more. Thank you very much. I love you right back. <laughs> We're gonna get to the game, I swear. It's not gonna be all just me reading out thank yous, I swear, but everybody's being so kind and I really appreciate you guys. I really do. Uh, thank you for giving out the gift sub, Pureed Boot. Pureed Boot, thank you for giving out that gift sub to i don't know who you gave the gift sub to <laughs> sour xxruos thank you a uh, shout out from mindy i am so oops i am so proud of you for the courage and bravery my daughter has trichotillomania i can never say that word uh she pulls her hair out, hair out and my proudest day is when she finally decided to stop hiding and embracing who she is well i'm very i'm i'm sorry to hear that and i'm also glad to hear that mindy uh, thank you so much for giving out the gift sub Roboto02. Thank you for giving that gift sub to... I don't know who you gave the gift sub to. Oh, Jen the Canadian Dutchie. Thank you. Uh, thank you for the four months at tier one all the pixels. Thank you for the brand new tier one sub Blue Sunshine 5. Shout out from Red Caps and Hinky punks <laughs> shout out to cindy for being awesome your new video was so brave it made me cry so proud of you for being an absolute badass thank you very much red caps i really appreciate that um and thank you for the cheer lp 3305 thank you for the tier brand new tier one sub psilocyduck uh thank you for giving out five gift subs moj high thank you for giving those five gift subs too i gotta find who you gave them to uh andres Johan Hoshizora, Just Andrea, Okots, and Ratatouille fan account. And <laughs> you guys, it just keeps coming, guys. It just keeps coming. I'm trying, <laughs> trying to get caught up here. Uh, let's see, where am I? Where am I? Uh, thank you for the three months at tier one, Lena. Lena, Ook. thank you for the shout out that daydreamer. You could say the pleasant community are pretty pleasant. That's right, they are. They're very pleasant. Thank you for the 100 bits wool loot. Thank you for the two months prime sub Ulzang Aya. Thank you for giving out the gift sub. Uh, oh God, somebody gave out 10 gift subs. I can't keep up. I can't keep up. <laughs> um, thank you so much for giving out the gift sub bug lungs. Thank you for, <laughs> I don't know who you gave it to. <laughs> bug lungs gave out a gift sub to Bush Queen 420. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much for the 10 gift subs. DJ1995, thank you so much uh, for giving the gift subs to Moonwork. It, it is I Egg, Anita359, Yanko Chick38, Alexis94, Sky Was Taken, Molly Eden, D Franny X18, Candle Lights, and Bella DeCasa. Okay, 
Are we there yet? <laughs> Thank you for the cheer, yes, Mackenzie. Uh, hype trade complete at level five. Your community contributed a total of 51 sub gifts and 682 bits. Thank you, guys. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. We got a beg for gift sub for It's Ya Clown. Uh, I got a shout out from Sedna Pup. Cindy, just for being you, I've never watched because of what you wear on your head, but because you're kind, you're my kind of person in Simmer. Thank you very much. Uh, I got a shout out from Steb. Another deserved shout out to Cindy for being a great example for young Simmers. I aspire to be as strong as you one day. Thank you very much, Steb. And thank you for the three months at tier one, Hannah. I got a shout out from Goo King. A shout out to Cindy seeing you taking off your wig and how free you were after that. Made me enjoy you more than ever. You don't need to hide. You're beautiful and amazing. If you enjoy the wigs, use it, but not to hide just because you like it. Thank you very much. I don't like it. That's why I stopped wearing them. <laughs> um, thank you so much for the three months at tier one, babe in the woods. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for giving out the gift sub, Acorn Days. I don't know who you gave it to, but I'm not gonna go searching for it now. Uh, thank you so much for the shout out, Elise, Alicia K0499. Cindy, for being such a wholesome human being. My mom thinks you're stunning and we all think you have an amazing personality. Keep smiling beautiful. Thank you very much, Alicia. Uh, thank you for giving up the gift sub, Moj High. Thank you for the six months in advance at tier one, Shawnee Starfire. I've been going for 11 minutes, guys. Wow, thank you so much. Uh, thank you for the two-month prime sub, Marcus Lamp. If you're watching this on back on YouTube, I'm sorry. Just just fast forward if you don't want to hear me read out everybody's name. Uh, let's see. <laughs> thank you for the brand new tier one sub, Inspire NG. Thank you for the three months at tier one, Shaw Rocket. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you for <laughs> Nathan shouting out to all the shout outs. Thank you for the three months at tier one, Simply Harry. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much for the three months at tier one, Margie Muller. <laughs> I keep getting lost in my list here. <laughs> thank you for the brand new tier one sub, Lux Pixel. And I got a shout out from Johan for Hoshizora. Shout out to Cindy for being so freaking amazing. I was very touched when I watched your video this morning. I also suffer from an illness I hate myself for, so I truly understand how hard it is for you. I'm also very happy that you're finally accepting yourself and not afraid anymore. You're a really inspiring person and you're beautiful in every way. I'm sure everyone who's here now loves you and what you do. Don't let all the mean comments upset you sending lots of love. Oh, that's so sweet of you to say. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you so much, Acorn Days, for gifting a sub to Midnight Aura 86. Thank you so much for the two month prime sub, Marge, Marge, Marge DS Palace. Thank you. Uh, the community is amazing, I agree. Shout out from Jen, the Canadian Dutchie, to all the wonderful members giving out gift subs to us poor fools that can't get one. <laughs> thank you. Yes, thank you, everybody who's so generous with the gift subs. I'm gonna have to take a coffee break in the middle of this, guys. You guys are just pouring it on. And thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you for the Prime Sub Lording Stars. Thank you for the five months at Tier 1, Jillian Kim. And thank you for giving out the gift sub, Goo King. And I'm caught up. Woo! All right. Oh, not quite. Goo King has a shout out. Shout out to Cindy for being amazing. Really, you deserve it. Thank you very much. I gotta hydrate. Let's hydrate. And then we're gonna play, I swear. <laughs> okay, I got my water. That is my spring water. Okay. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. You are all incredible. I really appreciate all of your support. I really do. Um, thank you. So we are going to go over to the game now, finally. Thank you so much for two, the two month the Prime sub. And no, knock steer. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So I'm pulling you guys over now. And let me put you on full screen here. Give it a second. Give it a second. There it goes. And I want to show you guys what I did here. <laughs> now we can play. Yeah, it only took me 15 minutes to get through that. But thank you guys. I really thank you. Okay, this looks weird because I've been screwing around in here. Oh, shout out to this community too from Zoe, full of special people. We know how to treat our girl. You deserve all the love, Cindy. Thank you, Zoe. And thank you so much for the three month prime sub, Darkster. And thank you for the brand new prime sub, Spikerini. And thank you for the brand new tier one sub, Roomba Meritus. Thank you, Shelly. 
So what I tried to do here, and I might have to get somebody to help me with this because, oh, by the way, I did get halved apartment rent. So our apartment rents are now only 487 to 493. So our Sims are gonna be able to afford them a little bit better. Uh, I got a shout out from LP3305. A shout out to everyone being nice to Cindy, but also that pink on the map. <laughs> yes, shout out to the pink. Of course I had my, uh, my game crash earlier today. Yes, happy Saturday to you too. So what I tried to do here is I tried to make this a corner lot with lot adjuster and I failed. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. I tried to add a road to the side, but it just like made this part a road. I don't know. I'm going to have to get somebody who knows better than me how to do this. Um, but let's go. I'm just going to load this up. I fixed it back. So I just want to load it up and make sure it's okay. Do, 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 do. We are going to play the Sims themselves today. So I think what I have to do with Lot Adjuster is, I think I have to add tiles onto it and then add a road or something. I don't, Cause I wanted to make this into a corner lot. Cause somebody, somebody left a comment on the stream playback and said, you can do that with Lot Adjuster. And I was like, oh, that's a great idea. I need to figure that out. So anyway, I didn't do it right. <laughs> I didn't do it right. Thank you so much for the uh, brand new tier one sub cam and thank you for the tier one sub. Jay is a good name. Uh, so yeah, I fixed it back and now it's just like this. Oh, let me put this back here. Let me put this back here. So this was our apartment complex that we built in the last stream and I have copied this four times, but I wanna do a little bit of recoloring so they're not all exactly the same before we move our Sims in, but we are gonna be doing that today. Um, how did you, I got an ask me anything from Shannon, Georgia. How did you get diagnosed with PCOS? I think I have it and I've been having an ongoing battle with doctors. I just went to, it was whenever I moved to uh, Colorado that I got diagnosed actually. I went to a doctor, I told them all my symptoms. I said that I think I have PCOS, but I wasn't for sure. And so my the GP uh, referred me to a gynecologist and I just ha happened to get a very good gynecologist who also happened to have PCOS. So she knew a lot about it and she is the one who diagnosed me and they have to do, uh, they normally have to do a very invasive procedure to diagnose you. So that's not fun. Um, <laughs> they have to do a very invasive procedure to look at your ovaries. Uh, to diagnose you, but she did. She said that she was just going to diagnose me based on all the other symptoms, so we didn't have to do that. So basically, you just have to find a good doctor. We didn't have to do it at that time, anyway. Uh, just if you, if you have a doctor who's not listening to you and not working with you, find another one. Find another one. And my suggestion is a gynecologist rather than a general practitioner. And thank you so much for the two months at tier one star winksy and thank you for the three months in advance simmer farmed thank you guys so much i think i got everybody thank you for yeah jay is a good name i got you okay so what i'm gonna do the reason why i wanted to make this a corner lot is so we could put the tiles here on the side but since i haven't been able to figure out how to do that i'm just gonna kind of make it like a parking lot like this but we can pretend the cars can park in and out of here we can pretend. Um, so I'm just gonna save it like that. Thank you so much for the four month prime sub simmer for Sim. And thank you for giving out five gift subs sensational. Uh, thank you for giving those gift subs to Stephanie one, K lovely 107, pumpkin patch 93, Ga Gail McMahon and Plat Platurner. Platurner, thank you. <laughs> Yeah, I had blood work and like all the other tests done, but we didn't, we didn't have, to, I didn't have to do the ultrasound that they used to do, I guess. I don't even know if that's still like a diagnostic thing that they have to do, but that's what my doctor told me. She said, I'm comfortable diagnosing you because I had, I had the blood work that showed that my hormones were out of whack and I had all the other symptoms. So she just went ahead and diagnosed me with it. You got treated, tested for PCOS, but it turns out you just have regular old hirsutism. Yeah, that sucks. I mean, but actually it doesn't suck because PCOS is way worse. So it's actually kind of a blessing for you. Uh, I got a beg for gift sub from Mirvel Fox. I got a hydrate and I thank you for the two month prime sub Twiggy Zilla. 
Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm going back out to the neighborhood so we can go and check in on the other apartments and get those ready to go. So the first one is ready. It's ready for people to move in. What I'm actually gonna do is move in 19 Sims and then one Sim is not gonna move in yet. One Sim is gonna go onto an empty lot and we are gonna teleport all of the Sims onto that empty lot and we're gonna have them all mingle. So I, I, if you guys remember when we did that with Edgewood, we did it at the mayor's house and it didn't turn out how I expected because there was just too much stuff going on in the house. So this time they're all just gonna be on an empty lot. They have nothing else to do but interact with each other. And you guys will also get to kind of know the Sims that I created since I created them off stream. Um, I don't know if I'll upload it. Maybe I'll upload it in the future. I don't know for sure because like I don't intend to keep all of these apartment buildings in the neighborhood. They're just here for now. And like once all of our Sims start getting married and moving out into houses, I'll probably delete all four of these and just keep the first one. But we just needed some quick housing so we can move our Sims in right now. The terrain itself you can get on Mod The Sims. Um, and I need to change the names of these. Um, thank you so much. Oh, son of a. Game crashed. Game crashed. Not kidding. Thank you so much for the prime sub, Sansa. Jeez Louise. Okay, we're gonna restart. We're gonna restart. I'm telling you guys. Rest in peace. I truly think that Ooh. the Windows update has done something screwy because I was never have a crashes. I would never have pink uh, flashing. And then ever since Windows updated, like my Ooh. game has just been giving me so many problems. So I don't know. It's even, it's giving me problems now, even when I'm not streaming, it's giving me problems. So I really think something happened. Something happened. My video drivers are updated, are fully updated too. I think. Ooh. Oh no, they're not. <laughs> no, they're not. But it was happening before when they weren't out of date too. So I don't think that's it, but I will try Ooh. to do that. I will try to do that. I know I never used to have crashes. Something weird is happening. Uh, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Miravel Fox Melancholy. And thank you for the brand new tier one sub, Abby 2019. I get everybody. I got a commercial break. I see that. We'll do the commercial break. Okay. So while it loads, let's see what kind of commercial break you guys gave me. Yeah, we crashed. I will update my graphics drivers and see if that's the problem. Um, I didn't realize they were out of date, but they are. So good call, whoever suggested that. I wish I would have. I wish I would have caught that before I restarted. If it crashes again, I'll just do it real quick. Um, let's see. Commercial breaks. Commercials. You couldn't oof, so you farted. <laughs> I couldn't oof, so I farted. Oh, thank you so much for the tier one sub, the great Asteria. Thank you so much for the tier one sub, Chris in nine. I got a shout out from Ravenclaw Owen for saying you were going to run graphics rules last stream since I, in my game wasn't working and I hadn't run it in months and my game worked after I ran it. Oh, that's so good to know Ravenclaw because I didn't do it. I didn't do it either. You know what? If we have another crash, I'm going to do graphics rules maker. I'm going to update my graphics drivers. I'm sorry, guys. I hate doing stuff like that on the stream because I know it takes up gameplay time, but we may have to do it. We may have to do it. I haven't been on my computer very much um, late, like when I haven't been streaming. So since I've been back from vacation, once the stream's over, I basically just close out my computer and leave. And when I make a video, I just post it and I leave. And I haven't been doing anything else because I gotta tell you, I had just such a wonderful break from not being on the internet. And it just really like refreshed me and gave me some time to reflect. And I realized how much time I was spending online and um, how much time, how much of my energy I was just giving to things that didn't matter at all, like Twitter, you know? So <laughs> normally during the time that I would be doing stuff like doing graphics rules maker and stuff, I haven't been playing, I haven't been on my computer. So I don't know what to say. We're doing the shit during the stream. <laughs> 
Um, have I done the Windows 10 fix that stops the standby, standby memory from getting too full? I think I have. Isn't it, isn't that just, uh, doing the, making the memory, changing the memory priority? Because I have done that. Yeah, Twitter, Twitter is, well, I'm going to talk about that later. I'm going to talk about that tomorrow. Okay, let me see. Flex, what is this? Tack putty? Irish peeler. I don't know if I've seen these, but I'm still looking for a commercial, guys. I'm still looking for a commercial. Um, yeah, I've been reading. I've been reading books. I've been walking uh, in the park every day. And I've been keeping my house clean. <laughs> I've been doing things that I neglected. Like, 2020 was a bad year. It was a good year in so many ways. Like, oh, my game's back up. Hold on. It was a good year in, like, that my channel grew a lot, but it grew a lot at a cost. At a cost to me. Uh, personally, physically, mentally, the cost was high. The cost was high. So, I am currently reading a, a book called The Secret of Pembroke Park by Julie Classen, which is a historical fiction romance novel. <laughs> Which sometimes I just like to read a good old romance. Uh, thank you so much, La Lavtaro. Okay, we're st we still got to do a commercial break. I got to find one, guys. I'm I'm trying. Uh, Bands Iron Brew advert. I don't know if I can do Iron Brew, guys, guys, because I feel like I got. <sighs> we'll try it. We'll try it. I might have to cut this out. I might have to cut this out, but we'll try it. I might have to cut it out for YouTube. I mean. Okay, Mary commented and said it's funny, so I trust her. I trust her if she thinks it's funny. <laughs> okay, here we go. We're gonna watch a band Iron Brew commercial. Young Andrew gave me this to try, Fiery Iron Brew. He said, Gran, you have to try it. You'll love it. So here goes. I don't think I would like Iron Brew. Ha! Box! Box. <laughs> yes, box. <laughs> My Trevor's in the lock business. He's a, a locksmith. He likes to give me a wee treat from time to time, so he gave me this. <gasps> shih tzu! <laughs> a shih tzu! He's called Professor Green. When I've been out walking like this, I like to wet my whistle. So my grandson <laughs> says to me, try this fire. It's iron not beer. Mm -mm. Doesn't it taste like bubble gum? Oh, you bastard! <laughs> it's just been done, so it has. Oh, the potholes have been fixed. Oh, my laddie Davy will be pleased. They've been playing havoc with his suspension. He's a good boy, my Davy. He bought me this. Oh, you are so. <laughs> to me, it's all about so. She just keeps an open That's can in her hand all day. Of Daniel O'Donnell. His music's full of it. My wee granddaughter. She gave me this can of fiery iron brew to drink while I'm listening. <laughs> oh, you bastard! <laughs> oh, you bastard! <laughs> Oh, that was a good commercial. Thank you. I don't want to watch it again, though. I don't want to watch it again. But thank you for sharing that. Uh, I have never tried Iron Brew before. I have never tried it before. But I heard it tastes like bubble gum. I don't know if that's true. Uh, thank you so much for the tier one sub, Archie. Shout out from Max. Just using this to catalog your itinerary. Four gigabyte patch, graphics rules maker, and the other thing you said would fix your game if it kept crashing. <laughs> <laughs> well, four gigabyte patch is still applied, so I don't think it's that, but I think I need to up update my graphics rules, rules maker and graphics drivers. I'm going to try both of those if we crash again, but hopefully we won't. Okay, let's head into, th into this one. I'm actually going to change the name of it. Pleasant View, Pleasant Valley, Pleasant View, listen to me. Pleasant Valley Apartments built, oh no, I can't, I'm just going to put Number two. I wanted to name it like building two, but we'll just name it number two. 
This is like a complex. It's like a, a development of apartments. Uh, thank you so much, uh, uh, CPU Jester. Thank you very much. And thank you so much for the seven months at tier one, Isabel. Okay, so here's the next one. I've already gone in here and done like the road part. All I wanna do is kind of like recolor the outside. Or what do you guys think? Should we recolor the outsides or should we just leave them all identical? <laughs> what do you guys think? I, oh yeah, and I also changed the, I do have to change the light. Somebody pointed out that that was floating in, in the air and yes it is. Yes, it is floating in the lights. Recolor, I'll let, uh, you know what, we'll do, a, I just burped, I'm sorry. We'll do a vote. Coffee gives me the burps. I'm so sorry. Like all the time I'm streaming and I'm just like, Ugh. um, let's put some of these in instead. And then I'm also going to, this is what I did in the other apartment too. I'm gonna just put move objects on, remove this here. We're gonna move this here. I decided I like this. I decided I like this. Oh, that's not it. That's not the right code. Oops. I decided I liked uh, this light better than the one I was using. So I'm going to use that and I just have to replace it up here. I got to replace it up here. I'm going to delete those other ones. Don't worry. I just wanted to place all these first. I'm going to place it down here and we're going to place it down here. I at least have to do this. I decided I didn't like those lights. We'll delete that. We'll come back here. We got to get rid of that pink over there too. There we go. Um. Okay. Thank you so much for the brand new tier one sub Millie Dragon. And let's... Let me do a poll. Let me do a poll and see what you guys want to do. Recolor or leave the same. Recolor or same. All right, there's a poll. Uh, go ahead and vote and tell me what you want to do. We could spend a little bit of time recoloring or we can leave everything the same. I kind of lean towards recoloring so they don't just all look identical. <laughs> but then again, that will take some time. So I'm going to leave it up to you. Oh, also I put some plants in. Uh, I put some plants in. What did I do? I did this plant, which I love this potted plant. White potted plant. I have no idea where I got this from. I've had this for a long time. And I don't, it didn't come from that site that it said on the description either. To make sure that's not going through the window there. Um, and I just put a couple plants around because I thought it looked kind of nice in the entryways. Oops. Okay, I see the pole. The pole's still going. Then we're gonna move this over a little bit. And I gotta make sure it's not sticking out. You know what I mean? How sometimes it sticks through. Okay, perfect. Let's save. Gotta save a lot in case we have crashes and let's see view results. Okay, you guys said you wanna recolor. All right, so we're gonna recolor. Aw, thank you, Widow Cass. <laughs> I feel your pain. Thank you very much. And so let's recolor this. Let's see. What do we want to do? Yeah, we're gonna do, just recolor like the windows and doors and just make it look a little bit different. Um, I think I'll just go over one. <laughs> How about we just go over one? We'll make this gray. Uh, we'll make this gray. That way we don't have to go too far around. We're still making it look different. This is gonna be gray and then we'll recolor um, the rest of the outside, like a different color brick that kind of matches this gray. I'm only doing the outside of the window. Thank you so much for the 100 bits, Emma Christina. Um, I'm only doing the outside of the window so the inside will stay white. Uh, let's see here. Just finish these up. And then like for the next one, I'll just go one on the other side. That way we don't have to go hunting around too much for the colors that we want. And let's recolor this one. Oops. Oh, it's backwards. It's backwards. 
It's backwards. I'm trying to grab. Why can't I grab this window? Let me grab this window. Uh, why can I not grab this window? What the heck? Like, I literally cannot grab it. What's what's the problem? Look at this. Uh, I can't. Oh, I got a bunch of save games and I got a hydrate earlier, too. I, I didn't forget your hydrate. I'm going to do it now. There's a hydrate. I don't know what's up with this. Yeah, I will save. I don't know what's up with this window. We might have to bulldoze it. Like, I can't, I can't. I can't even bulldoze the wall. Oh, it's an, oh, it's cause it's an apartment. Oh. <laughs> it's cause it's an apartment, duh. I forgot it was an apartment. Or I didn't forget, but I didn't think about that. Yeah, you can't do the, that's, that's right. You can't do the walls when it's an apartment. Um, so we've got a backwards window over here. We've got a backwards window. I guess I'll have to change the law zoning. I guess I'll have to change the, I hate changing the law zoning. Did it, did it work? Did I do it wrong? Change law zoning res. Do I have to go out and back in? Residential, I think I have to go out and back in. Man, that's a pain in the butt. That is a pain in the butt all for one window. All for one window. Okay, let's save and go out and come back. The, you know, the I could never get the building thing to work well for me. But maybe we'll try it next time. Thank you, Evan. I'm not the world's best builder by any means, but I try. As long as I'm happy with it in my world, I'm okay. Uh, let's go back in now. The pink house is just, it's, I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's dramatic, yes. Thank you so much, another step. Thank you for the 500-bit sensational. Okay, now let's fix it. I was like freaking out. Why can I not do this window? Duh, because it's an apartment, Cindy. Jeez. Get it together. Um, I don't think there's anything else. You know what? Let's leave it residential so that I can just until I finish to make sure I can do everything I need to do. Okay, we're going to change this. We'll just leave these white, actually. We'll just leave these indoor ones white, I guess. Um... Did I get all the windows? I think so. So now let's do, we got to do the, we got to do this. So this is what's going to be a little bit time. No, I already did you. This is going to be a little bit time consuming doing the trim. I bet you guys didn't think of that, did you? <laughs> so we're going to do the trim and we'll just have a nice little chat while we do the trim. Because I know this is so riveting to watch me recolor trim on a house. Uh, we also have to recolor the roof, too. I guess we'll do some kind of, like, gray color. But I do like the idea of recoloring them just so they have a little bit... A little bit of a personality of their own. Oh, I can't recolor that one? Let me... There he goes. And then I don't know about the inside. Should we recolor the inside? Like, maybe put gray carpets instead of brown or something like that. You like watching the tedious stuff, do you? <laughs> I'm glad you do. I'm glad because we're we're in for the long haul here. We're gonna recolor it all. And I'm hoping that this won't take too long. Uh, because I do want to get our Sims at least moved in today and and mingled and introduced. Introduced, that's what I'm gonna say. There's a blue and pink version of the stucco and brick. Yeah, there is there are. That is true. We're probably gonna do we're probably gonna use both of those. I don't know what we're going to do on the gray, though. Remember, I'll have to remember blue and pink. Or we'll do two of the buildings. At least one of the buildings blue and one of the buildings pink. We'll try to replicate this same kind of style. Uh, but for the gray, I don't know. We'll do a gray brick and a gray. We can also, like, make this part brick and this part, like, stucco or something. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Oh, and don't forget, once I finish recoloring all the trim, 
Then I have to go do the fences. <laughs> I'm, tr I'm trying to do it as quickly as I possibly can. I wish there's a way there was a way to just like recolor it all at once, but there's not. You gotta do it. You gotta sit here and do it piece by piece. And while you're recoloring it piece by piece and you're streaming yourself recoloring it piece by piece, you have to think of things to say while you're doing this. <laughs> Which I'm, try I'm trying, I'm trying to entertain you. Uh, I think the story progression mod is still, still up. Uh, Nathan probably knows. Nathan is also a mod in the, in the story progression discord. So he should be able to tell you. Oh, uh, did I see the Life is Strange 3? No, I didn't. Um, I never played Life is Strange. I heard it's a good game, but I've never played it. I didn't know they were making a third one, though. Okay, I got the trim. I got the trim done. Now we just have to do these. So they shouldn't take too long. There we go. There we go. <laughs> Bye, Kayla. Okay, I see a meme time. I wish I could show you guys a meme at the same time while I was recoloring these. But unfortunately, there's only one of me. So I gotta... I gotta do one thing at a time. Uh, recolor that. There's so much to recolor. Why is there so much? Sometimes I found if you have trouble recoloring these things... Uh, thank you so much for the tier one sub, Hazmatic. Sometimes I found if you like try to go underneath, why can't I go any further down? If you like come at them from the bottom, you'll be able to select them. So one of the things I have a trouble recoloring are the stairs, like the recolorable stairs. I can never seem to like get the, the stairs themselves selected, but if you come up from the bottom like this, it, it'll work. I don't know if that helps anybody out there, but I was having a problem and that helped me. Okay, here we go. No, I don't want to recolor the bathtub. I just want to do this part. All right, well, I'm just going to do this all the way around. And then we just have to do the back ones. And then we have to do the walls. But that won't be so bad. We're going to try and figure out something. Like maybe a gray brick. Maybe a gray brick and some kind of stucco. I don't know. Uh, come on. <laughs> it's tedious. You love playing The Sims while watching my stream? Well, thanks. I'm glad. I'm glad you do. Oh, you know what else, guys? I got an adult coloring book of mandalas. And uh, Mr. Pleasant and I, we were coloring last night. We bought a, we bought like a hundred pack of colored pencils. And we were col- oh, I do not like how that's like a line right there. We were coloring last night while we were listening to a podcast and it was pretty nice. Um, it gets- that's tedious too. That's like recolor. That reminds me. It reminded recoloring reminded me of that. Uh, <laughs> it reminded me of like coloring mandalas because it gets a little tedious. Oh no, there's not a gray for this one. Is there a gray for this one? Oh no, there's not. There's not a matching color for this. No, no. What are we gonna do? Okay, I think we gotta get rid of that. <laughs> and we have to put one of these bespoke ones on stay below pins oh thank you bush lord i'll look into that because i have to keep i have to keep uh sharpening my pencils because i need a tip on them you know i need a fine tip to color thank you so much for the two month prime sub pureed boot thank you and thank you for the shout out annie to cindy for being beautiful thank you very much and yes i need to save yes i'm gonna save right now Oh, there's a matchy matchy and we're gonna find it <laughs> it's here i swear uh i think it's in here where is the column is this the column the post yeah yeah no go back no go here go why don't you go <laughs> it never goes where i want it to go oh jeez louise are you serious there there and so i know there's a gray of this one i just was using a different post no come here come here 
<laughs> this will be all worth it once our sims are living here, I swear. I swear it will. So yeah, I'm trying something new with my sims. I want to put them all together and just we're going to see who likes each other, who hates each other, and just give them some relationships to start to start out with, you know? Oh, look, we didn't recolor the... Oh my gosh, we didn't recolor that part. But that's okay. Um, I probably need to do that on the first apartment then. But that's all right. We'll, we'll get to that in a second. Um, thank you so much for the raid, Pixel Dreams. I see your hydrate there. I'll hydrate. <laughs> thank you very much. I know, I just really felt like I wanted to create a new, um, a new custom neighborhood and I wanted to do it. I wanted to learn from my mistakes <laughs> that I made with Edgewood. Now I haven't like given up on Edgewood or anything. It's still, it's still a hood I'm gonna play. Um, but I also wanted something that just wasn't so much, you know? I wanna let my Sims just have like normal jobs and everybody doesn't have to own a business. And I just kind of want to play. <laughs> Because I feel like with Edgewood, I almost never get to play because I'm always just like, I got to build a hospital. I got to build this. I got to build that. And I'm like, damn it. I just want to play. Okay, let's put this up here. And now all I had to build was one apartment building. <laughs> there we go. And yes, perfect. Okay, so we got all the outside stuff recolored except for the walls. So let's see what we're going to do for the walls here. <laughs> the, the businesses in this world, some of them will be Sim owned, but a lot of them will just be like owned by Sim City or some random landlord we don't know about. Um, so there's this. I don't think that looks, that doesn't really match. Oh, I like, mm, maybe a white, maybe a white brick. Let's see if let's see how we feel about a white brick. I like I kind of like the white and the gray together. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if we like it. Let's see what we can do for the middle part. Uh, thank you so much for the five months at tier one Pixel Dreams. Thank you very much. Um. Well, you know, maybe not. <laughs> Because we could use this here. Hold on, I got an idea. I got an idea. We can use this here. No, I don't like that tan with the gray. Okay, that doesn't make sense. I may or may not use this idea. Oh no, I kind of like that better. Okay, I gotta figure out what we're gonna do for the middle. For the middle part. Not that. I guess we could just do white we could use something like this i'm trying to find something that has a border on it dang it we could do something like that so we also have these hmm thank you so much for the brand new tier one sub widow cast and thank you for the two month of prime sub pippin 1992 and thank you for the prime sub freelance v01 well, yeah, we do have these, like the blue and the pink and the pink and the yellow, but they don't, I don't think they go with the gray. I should have thought, I should have thought this through before I went with the gray. So I'm trying to find something that's going to go with this gray color. Why don't these just have like one? Um, I'll probably use these on the next, next, the next house. We're going to go blue. We're going to do this blue or the next apartment. Is this? And there's also the pink. So now I have to figure out what I'm gonna do here. Poured. Um, where's we could you know what we could do a siding. We just get a we can always do could blah, 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 blah. we always could do siding. I can't talk. I can't talk. <laughs> Hello, Mandy. You think pink would work with a gray? Mm, I don't know. I don't know how I like that. That, that might be too much gray. <laughs> Is it too oppressive if we do this? Hold on. <laughs> Is that too much? Is that too much gray? 
You know what we could do is we could, oh, I have an idea. We could make these white. And we could do like a, like that. Let's change the color of the roof too. Let's change the color of the roof so it matches better. Yeah, like that. What do we think? Does it look okay? The white and gray and then the gray and white here. Uh, let's try back here. Let's do this back here. Um, hold on. It's, that way it's kind of like opposite colors. It's midnight blue, it's not gray. It looks gray, but it's midnight blue. And then we'll put these back here and we'll also make these white. Okay, we'll make these white. And I mean, it doesn't have a border, but I don't think it looks that bad. I don't think it looks that bad. Uh, thank you so much for the three months in advance. It's here one feline insomnia. And thank you for the five month prime sub ginger cat 357. There's a blue fence in the back. What are you talking about? What you talking about? Oh. I know it looks different, but it's not. It's the same color. It's just because of the way the, sh the shadow is. I don't know why. I think it is. Yeah, see, it's the same color as these. And I have no idea why it's doing that. Um, it was doing that even when it was white, too. Like, this one looked like a different color, but it's not. They're the same exact color. I, I honestly don't know. Maybe there's something with the, the um, post being there. I don't know. I think it's the lighting. I think it's the lighting. Yeah. So anyway, I like, I kind of like this, how this turned out. Um, it looks all right. I think it does. Definitely different from the other one. So let's go inside and <laughs> I'm going to change up the color, the inside colors a little bit. So we're going to do like grayish uh, carpet instead. It happened in yours too, J Survivor. Okay, good. I'm glad I'm not the only one. This is carpet of bureaucracy. Perfect. That's what we want. <laughs> That's what we want in our apartments. I want it to be cheap. Cheap. It looks like a, a it does look like a carpet of bureaucracy. <laughs> there. Nice and gray. That's how we want our apartments. Um, and let's see. I might change the floor in the bathroom too. We'll give it. What's this? cloudy linoleum there you go oh it's so it's it's not cute it's not cute but you know what these are cheap these are cheap starter apartments i think i'm not going to use beachy keen either add 10 to the side road you want to add that's what i thought i figured i had to do fumus thank you very much for telling me that and then click on the add road see i did add road without adding 10 so that's what made me figure i probably had to add 10 thank you very much for that um, and I kind of want to change the, I think I'm going to change the walls to like a more white because I think it looks better with the gray. So we're going to change the walls to more white, but I want it to be very, you know, plain. I want it to be very plain. And then our Sims who move in, they can decorate their apartments however they want to, or however I want to decorate it for them, <laughs> I should say. Oh, and now I got to do the downstairs too. And then we'll be done with this one. We can move on to the next one. Hopefully these will go pretty quickly now that we kind of know what we're doing. And I'm gonna, oh, I also need to change the linoleum in here, but that's too much gray. That's too, no, we can't do gray, gray on gray. Can't do gray on gray. I think I'll do white. I think I'll do a white linoleum. Uh, oh, like that. That looks, that looks better. We'll do that and in the bathrooms too for the kitchen. There we go. That looks better. You, you gotta, you gotta be a little bit careful. You don't want to do too much gray. It's, it's kind of oppressive already. <laughs> okay. Oh, and also I want to change the wood flooring too, because now it doesn't match either. So let's make it a gray. <laughs> this is the gray building. This is going to be the gray building. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of a, they're kind of flop houses, but they're a little bit, it's a little bit nicer than a flop house because they actually have, I like that one. 
uh, they actually have like a full apartment. They have a full kitchen, little tiny living room and bathroom and bedroom. So I wanted it to be like more like a starter than a flop, you know? And then I'm gonna uh, do different stairs as well. Let's see, what kind, of, what kind of stairs? These stairs probably would look okay. Just concrete stairs. Concrete stairs, I guess. <laughs> to add to the gray building. Uh, I think I want to change the wood color again. Oh, yeah, that's a nice, that's a nice wood. I like that wood. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. It's done. It's done. Apartment building number two is done. Um, and for apartment building number two, I'm also going to take some of this ivy off because I don't, I don't like how it looks up there. Okay. The gray building. We got the gray building. We have our traditional one. And now we're going to move on. We're going to do a pink. We're going to do a blue and probably like a yellow. Let's go to the neighborhood. <laughs> you like the gray one better? Yeah. <laughs> it's classy for the Sims. Yeah. Make the pink one pink? Really? I don't know. I don't know about that. Oh yeah, we got meme. We got two meme times. Okay, we'll stop and do memes now. Thank you so much for the five month prime sub ginger cat. If I didn't say so before, I gotta hydrate and I got two memes. So let me hydrate. We'll do two memes and we'll move on to the next one. One thing I really love about uh, Honeywell's bespoke lot set, like build set, is how good everything looks from lot view. Even though it's blurry out here, it's still the the houses and stuff still look really good. Oh, I didn't rezone it. Aw, oh, crap. Let me go back in and rezone it, then we'll do the memes. Do, 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 do. The pink glow makes the house look like it belongs in a horror movie, I know. <laughs> we need a meme about pink flashing. No kidding. Um, all right. Change lot zoning apart apartment base. All right, that did the trick. Gonna save. So we're gonna have to do that for all of them. Um, and I didn't realize that we're probably gonna have to go back to the first one and move that window around too. Let's go to the next, and I got it. We have to do that before we move the Sims in because then we're not gonna be able to do it. You think the trees need to be different on each lot? I mean, we could move them like around so they're not exactly the same position. Yeah, we could do that. I wonder if I can do it now. <laughs> How many times am I gonna load this lot? How many times am I gonna load this lot? I don't know. Struggles. <laughs> I'm struggling. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll move these to like different positions so that they don't look exact. I still want the same trees, but yeah, I know what you mean. They shouldn't be exactly the same. Like I just want to have a, like a bunch of trees of these trees in the back. This one will even have like an extra tree on it. This one will have an extra tree. And can I do a little bit more there? Okay. There, that way so they don't look exactly the same, but they look like that we've planted these kind of trees in all the yards. Okay. Those trees are from the Sims resource. They are called, I'll tell you what they're called. They're my favorite trees. I love them so much. Uh, they are called, they're made by Murano, M-U-R-A-N-O, and they are from the Sims resource, and they are called Seasons Enabled Birch Trees or something like that. Okay, back out, save. And back out. And there's like a bunch of different sizes of them. They look so good. They look so good. And now let's do some memes. What kind of memes you guys got. I love those birches. I really do. Uh, let's see. Hey, we saw five ducks named Matthew. <laughs> okay, we saw those. 
let's see i have so many memes saved i need to put in here because i save them when i'm on reddit which i'm not really going on reddit anymore i'm trying to get i i have like a reddit addiction because i have it's the only thing i have on my phone so i'll just like lay in bed for four hours looking at reddit it's not it's not healthy so i'm trying to get off reddit altogether uh, okay. What the heck is this person doing? Okay. <laughs> Nathan shared this one. Let's, let me show you guys. I think I'm sitting next to a psychopath. <laughs> what is this person doing with her pizza? I think she doesn't want to eat the crust. She's just cutting it. <laughs> She's cutting a circle in the middle. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. Yeah, I need to quit Reddit, too. I need to quit Reddit. Don't forget, drink water and get some sunlight because you're basically a houseplant with more complicated emotions. <laughs> well, you know, kind of. <laughs> well, I'll do one more. These are this is, this is a Nathan dump. Uh, how can she be so close and yet so far? I don't know, Max. Ooh. I don't know. How I spoke to my best friend when we first met versus how I speak to her now. So I'm not leaving until you laugh. Hey, Panini Head, are you even listening to me? <laughs> I love Gordon Ramsay. Um, I think they make him look like a jerk when he's really not that much of a jerk, but I like him. I like him. Thank you, Nathan. Thank you for sharing those with me. You will defend Pizza Fork from the inside out, woman. <laughs> okay, if that's the hill you want to die on. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna we're gonna go into this one. I'm gonna rename it actually. We're gonna rename this one. This is apartment building number three. Number three. And then we're gonna head in. We're gonna see about making this one pink. Pink, pink. And you know what? In the middle, in the behind these, in the middle, I'm gonna put a little park too for our Sims to go to. <laughs> All right, uh, yeah, pink, pink, pink. And don't let me forget to do the trees too. So <laughs> the first thing I'm gonna do is remove my lights and replace them. Cause I, I, had a, I had a design change. I had a change of heart on my design. Uh, so we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna change the lights. And I think I'm, I'm only gonna put one down here. Do this, I'm gonna do that. And I'm going to replace the... Oops, oops, I can't see. Oops, no. So this, these apartment buildings are the only thing... I don't think that went against the wall, did it? Uh, they are the only thing in the neighborhood right now. I do, And I want to put in at least like a park or something. But I want to move everybody in first. <laughs> and then we'll see. We'll see if we have time. We might have to do that next time. The park, I mean. That pink house, don't worry, we're gonna take care of that. We're gonna take care of that when we get over there. And then on the inside, I gotta get rid of this one and put these inside. Okay. This right here. I'll put this right here. And then I'm gonna put my plants in. So I'm gonna put the same plant. This is my favorite potted plant. I wish I had more potted plants like this. Again, I have no idea where this plant came from. I'm so sorry, I don't remember where I got it from. It says Burgett43.de, but I did not get it from there. I did not get it from that. I don't know where I got it from. Oh, I should be changing the, the pot colors too. We'll make this one like a pinkish color. Uh. <laughs> I'll put that there, put this here maybe, make sure it's not sticking out the sides, it is, it is sticking out the sides, so I'm going to turn it, okay, no longer sticking out the side, I'm going to move this over, um, and I'm going to throw one of these upstairs as well. Oh, did I not copy that? I copied the wall, I hate it when I do that, I'm not trying to copy the wall, I'm trying to copy the plant, please. And let's put this here. Let's see, make sure it's not sticking out the window. It is a little bit. That's better. And then we're gonna have to rezone this. I'm gonna save and we're gonna have to rezone this. 
to a residential so that we can fix the one window that I put in backwards. Is there a such thing as too many plants? No, 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 there's not. Uh, change lot zoning residential. Okay, let's save. And let's go to the neighborhood. Uh, thank you so much for the prime sub, Alora Dalla, and thank you so much for the three month prime sub, R Hasher. Thank you very much. I think I did that hydrate, but I'll do another one just in case. Yeah, there. I did. I made that an apartment. Yeah. Yes, I did. <laughs> Purple soup is strong. Uh, thank you so much for the two month prime sub. Grits and eggs. Grits and eggs. Oh guys, I gotta show you what I got. I just saw this sitting on my desk. When I was in Arkansas, we went to the thrift store because I love going thrift shopping. So we went to the thrift store and look what I found. Look what I found. Sim City 3000. It was only $3.99. I found it. And I can't play it. <laughs> it doesn't work. It doesn't work on Windows 10. So you know what? I was like, well, I own the game now. So then I just downloaded it. So then I just downloaded a copy and now I can play it. But I have the disc now. I have the disc and the little, it doesn't really come with a booklet, but anyway, I have it. I love SimCity 3000. It's really fun. It's really fun. Uh, thank you so much for the giving out the gift sub red light bulb. Thank you for giving a gift sub to somebody. <laughs> Amburu. And thank you for the prime sub said no pup. Thank you so much. Yes, I'm adding to my collection. Um, that's also how I got into The Sims is I found The Sims at a thrift store. I found it at a thrift store and that's how I started playing The Sims. Um, okay, so let's see we're gonna do i think i'm gonna do the walls first this time and then we can recolor the windows um to match or maybe we'll even leave the windows white let's just see how it looks with the maybe we'll leave the trim and stuff white that'll make it easier on us uh let's see how it looks though <laughs> you built a cat shaped city <laughs> all right let's see here so we'll just replace these with the pink with the pink like so, do the middles. Oops, no, not that one. Do the middles like that. So this is gonna be the pink building. Oops, no, I don't wanna do those. I wanna do, I wanna do these. And right here, I wanna do these. Okay, so there's that. <laughs> Let's do the back side first. Uh, we'll fill this in, fill this in. Yeah, I think we just leave the trim white. <laughs> we don't really have to do uh, too much recoloring. That's what I want. But it'll still look different enough, you know. And then let's do the brick. What kind of brick are we going to do? We could do a white. No, that doesn't really match, does it? That's the one I already have. This is gonna be the hard part. Maybe we'll do siding on this. Uh, maybe we'll do siding on this one. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, there's also siding that has a border. If we need to do that, if we need to use that. I mean, the pink doesn't really match at all. Now this is, this is tough. Cause none of these are gonna match this pink. Oh yeah, the pink on the downstairs wall, yeah. Yes, yes. I wanna, I think some kind of, I still think some kind of brick is gonna look best. We don't really have a pink brick. Okay, red brick does not go. Do, 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 do. That's the same color. I keep choosing the same color I already have. I don't know. Maybe we won't even... Maybe we won't do pink. <laughs> maybe we won't do pink. 
<sighs> Cause like, it's just nothing matches it. Nothing matches pink. We could do, we could do yellow. We could probably do yellow, hold on. Let's, I bet we could find some kind of brick to go with the yellow. Let me just see. Before I go doing everything. Oh no, oh no. No, that's off. What even is that? No. No, that's hideous. Mm-mm. <sighs> Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. Brick? We could do brick, maybe. And siding. This is like harder than I thought. <laughs> this is harder than I thought it was gonna be. Brick and white? Yeah. Yeah. I'm trying lots of colors, y'all. And I don't like any of them. <laughs> I don't like any of them. Maybe we do a siding here. And... Oh. Oh. Oh, no. That looks so... That looks very like hyper realistic to me that looks almost too realistic to me oh i love this brick oh i love this brick we're using this brick somehow okay i love this brick right here this is probably my favorite brick we're gonna use this brick we're gonna find something to match this brick i wonder if the blue would not really this blue it needs a darker blue It needs a darker blue, which this looks good, but then we don't have a border. We don't have a border. Let's see how it looks though. I don't know. I don't think it looks terrible. Let me do the front. Let me do the front. Let's see how it looks. I like the blue with that because it, it makes the blue and the brick kind of pop. Oops. Let's see. Let's finish putting this blue around. I mean, this brick around. I love this brick. And we can even leave the white. Thank you so much for the three months it's here. One, Laura Summer. Thank you for the 100 bits, Fasty. Thank you for the 100 bits, Roboto02. Uh, thank you for the two months at tier one, Jennifer, and the three months at tier one, Altarius. Thank you so much. Thank you for giving out the five gift subs, Acid Jane. Thank you so much uh, for giving out the five gift subs to... I have no idea who you gave five gift subs to. That was a long time ago. Uh, P for you. I guess that's how you say that. Bug right, hallowed buyer, your guy Kevin, and bad dieting. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Okay, so up close here. Let me get up close. So you can see the blue and the brick together. I kind of like the darker blue. It could also be like a gray, but I kind of like the dark blue. You want a screenshot? You think white would look better? I don't know. I don't know about that, but we can try it. Like that? Here, I'll get up close so you can see. And then I guess we could change the color of the door too. To like um, a brown. Like that. Like that. What do you guys think? You like that better? Let's change the color of the roof too. 
Let's change it to like more like a brown. You like that? You like the blue? Um, let me let me do a poll. We'll see what you guys think. Uh, thank you so much for giving out five gift subs, Altarius. Thank you so much for giving out the gift subs to Zufrida Sign12, V Thrash7, Hannah42, Terrell Leroy, and Neeris. Thank you so much. And uh, also, thank you for the Cheer That Daydreamer. Thank you for the 100 bits, Jane Dillinger. Thank you for the 50 bits, She Weigh It. Thank you for the four months at Tier 1, Mrs. Steep Dean. Thank you very much. So we could do it this way or we could do the blue and white. So let me do a poll and see what you guys think. Uh, blue or white? Blue or white? Okay, whatever wins, that's what I'm going to go with. So put your, put your vote in, cast your vote. <coughs> that's what I'm going with. I'm either going with the blue that I had before or the white here. Or the white that you see before you. Yeah, I personally like the blue better. Here's the blue too, if you don't remember what it looks like. It looks like this. I personally like the blue better, but I'll go with either one really. Either one will work for me. <laughs> Just waiting for the poll to finish. One minute feels like forever when you're waiting for 60 seconds. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, you, you guys went with blue. You guys went with blue. Uh, oh no, it's a tie. No, blue won by one vote. <laughs> See, you gotta vote. Blue what blue got 113 votes and white got 112. <laughs> blue won by one vote. Okay, well I like the blue better, so we're gonna go with blue. Um and actually I kinda like no, I think I'm gonna change it to white. I think I'm gonna change this back to white. Yeah. Oops, I gotta fit I gotta finish it out here. Okay. I like the blue. I like the blue. We're gonna we're gonna stick with the blue. <laughs> so this is how it looks. And I'm just gonna leave the white trim as well, so we don't have to worry about that. And then we're gonna go inside. We're gonna make some changes. So we're gonna make this blue. I could make the house white in the middle brick, but I don't wanna. <laughs> I wanna leave it just like it is. Uh okay, so I'm gonna change the color here we need a carpet we'll make a blue carpet should we make a shag <gasps> i don't know if i want to do shag carpet oh excuse me again coffee burps there we go we'll use this one and so we'll make the carpets blue let's do that and then the linoleum let's see These are kind of, um, I don't want to necessarily do blue linoleum because I don't want to do too much blue, but maybe something white. That'll work. We'll just do like a white like that. That'll work. I'm not going to put too much thought into it, to be honest with you. <laughs> These are cheap apartments. They don't have to be beautiful. Oh, and also we got to fix that window. We got to fix that window. Even though we're not changing the color. Um, we'll still fix it. There we go. And then, I don't know. Maybe I'll recolor the cabinets. Nah. Nah, we'll just leave them plain. We'll just leave them how they are. Okay, did I do the upstairs? Who knows? Who knows what I've done? I did some of it. Perfect. Then I'm gonna change the, I'm gonna change this. What color do I want? What color do I want for the wood? Yeah, I'll change the walls too. Yeah, that's a good point. I'll change the walls too. Like a bluish, 
That looks that looks gray, and I'm on the wrong floor. Um, maybe a more like a brown like that that kind of matches the brown of the brick. I think will work fine. Um, let's see about stairs as well. We could do a darker brown stair. Like that. And then let's do the walls as well. We'll make the walls white. Instead of beachy keen. Beachy keen, like my favorite wall. Okay, so here's how the apartment looks apartments look now. Let me change the wall over there. Here's how they look now. And here's the outside. Should I change it? Let me look at the roof color again, too. Uh, maybe we could change the roof color to like a... I don't know, something different. There, that roof color looks better. I think that browner color. Okay, so there's the brown and blue. The brown and blue. I don't I don't like that it doesn't have like a border right here, but I mean you're not really gonna see that part that much, so I think it's okay. I think it's okay. Uh thank you so much for giving out five gift subs, Artemis the Falcon. Uh thank you so much for giving those gift subs to Ariel Christina, Pixie Plumbob, Moonblaze, S. Gentes1961, and Juvia Fullbuster. Thank you so much, uh, Artemis. Thank you for the 50 bits, Basti. Thank you for the four months at tier one glitz and glitter. Thank you for the 100 bits, Emerald. And I think I, oh, thank you for the three month prime sub, Plutotarium. I think I got everybody. Thank you guys so very much. And I see your commercial break. So we'll do a commercial break here. Let me save. No! Son of a... Game crashed. Game just freaking crashed. I'm gonna have to redo all... God, <gasps> when was the last time I saved? No, I don't think it saved. I don't think it saved. Okay, hold up. We're gonna do a commercial break. I am going to update my graphics drivers right now. It only takes a second. Uh, download. In the meantime, I'm gonna look for a commercial. Well, at least I know what I'm gonna do. I know, rest in peace, rest in peace. It might have saved, it might have saved, but usually, <laughs> usually when it crashes on save, it doesn't save. Um, so, I don't know. If it didn't save, at least I know exactly what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I know, I hate it when that happens too. I'm I'm updating my, my graphics drivers and maybe that's the problem. Um, let's see, we'll do a commercial break in the meantime. Okay, uh, let's see. I'm gonna install it now. It's downloaded. It's only gonna take a second. Then we'll do a commercial <laughs> while the game's restarting. Uh, thank you so much um, for whatever just happened. I don't know, I got a, a lot of farts. I got a lot of farts on here. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, it's not telling me my new activity. Oh, there it goes. Thank you for the Prime Sub, Very Simple and Confused. And thank you for the three month Prime Sub, Glasses Laura. And thank you, uh, Very Simple and Confused for the Prime Sub. I think I said that already. Who knows? <laughs> Updated drivers really get you going. It's installing right now, I swear. I didn't do Graphics Rules Maker, but I can do it real quick after the graphics update. We'll see if that fixes it or not. We'll see if that fixes it. 
Um, so it's taking a little bit longer than I thought to install. So <laughs> we're gonna watch this commercial. Thank you so much for the three month prime sub Swan Sims Ills 87. Thank you. Oh my God, we totally beat the record guys. Thank you so much. 128 subs, yeah, this is the record. It Before it was 107. So thank you guys, truly thank you. I really appreciate it. A Mr. Bucket? Push your balls in my mouth. A Mr. Bucket? Out of my mouth and we pop. A Mr. Bucket? 